It's a mail day, and this time I got something from across the pond from Hinchy. For those of you that don't know, Hinchy is the creator of Dynasty. It's like a grid-based movement strategy type card game, and TCG, of course, built into it. I've got the two-player pack, which, oh, and a beautiful letter from him as well. I'm not gonna read that on air. Might be private. Might be thanking me for what a wonderful, smart, intelligent, handsome person I am or something like that, I, I don't know. That, that's just my assumption. I'm gonna assume that's what it says. I'll read it later in private and I'll get back to you if it's different than that. I'll never get back to you if it's different than that. That's what we're all gonna believe it says. Let's take a look at these cards though, because they should be all the new art ones, which, and, I, and I'll be honest, I do believe uh, Hinchy did himself a bit of a disservice with his uh, initial run. Uh, he was using his own artwork, which was uh, great. Uh, <laughs> way better than stealing artwork. And if uh, we've learned anything from the recent hubbub of things, uh, a little bit of controversy around that. <laughs> so good on him to do his own stuff and go that route. Um, I, I applaud anyone to do that. I mean, you can even get icons off of the net. That's what I did. I mean, I'm an artist and I took icons that were royalty free RPG icons off the net to play test my game. That's kind of what you do. Um, oh, let's see. Oh, and I got two signed extra bonus cards too. So we're, like, we're going to look at those first before I crack one of the, the player packs open. So we've got a signed trained cavalry and a signed veteran hay. These are gorgeous. The frame layouts are beautiful. I couldn't have done it better myself. The artwork is phenomenal. It's uh, like I would be happy to... Here, here's the packs. Here's the two player pack. I would be happy to put these on the field and play. Like, this is just amazing. It's uh, it's wonderful. He's really, the, the gameplay, I um, if you look at my past videos, you'll see uh, a game I played. And uh, the gameplay was right there. It was like, you know, moments away from being perfect sort of thing. Um, it was really, really well thought out, really planned well. Uh, but this art does push it to the next level. And um, I, I, think, uh, I think he's got something going here now that it's gotten to this stage, and uh, I'm really excited for it. I, I know he's got uh, representation in the UK, representation in uh, North America. Don't know where else, Hinchy, but I, I'm sure you're getting some uh, exposure worldwide too. So uh, good on you, and um, if it gets open, we'll flip through some of them and have a look. There we go, now we're peeling this open. All right, so here we go. Let's have a look, see at these. So you guys will see them before me, but here's I mean, there's multiples of the same card, of course. But, like, look at that artwork. Uh, I'm actually glad uh, he's used, if not one artist, one consistent art style. Um, I must admit, with certain TCGs, uh, Magic, um, uh, Pokemon, things like that, I do prefer when they use varying artists. I like those ones to have uh, something different. You know, you want to throw down, you don't want to throw down a bunch of cards that look the same or have a very, a too similar of a feel. But these ones, because you're, moving a battalion of troops around, they do need to feel the same. They do need to have this uh, similarity to the artwork or the symmetry to it. It's It doesn't look right if you throw down a couple different things on the board. Oh, and that this is, uh, so this is a sample of what the playmat looks like, how you lay that out. So you can do it without a grid. I mean, they'll have playmats, I'm sure, uh, on their um, TTS mod, you have this layout to work with. But that's basically how you lay it out on a field. It's a two, This is a two player set, so we've got uh, two, I think it's, oh, what is it now? It's South and East, I believe. I think it's East and South divisions. Um, so yeah, if anyone is interested in playing, if anyone got one of these and wants to try and play with Cam, let me know and we'll try something on Spell Table or whatever. If anyone is in my area and, ha and would like to try playing, we'll see if we can arrange something to sit down and try some paper play. Worst case scenario, there is TTS to work with. But uh, these are awesome. I'm so glad I got them. I don't know if they're still available. Check out his Instagram and uh, the rest of his socials and see. Uh, if not, I'm sure it's going to be going to some sort of a print at some point soon. Because these are great quality. They're nice. They, they look like actually they'd fit in one tuck box. So, Hinchy, maybe make a two-player single tuck box set. That would be, uh, that'd be good. I think people would like that sort of thing. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. So, little uh, postscript here, they are not the same artist. I thought they were, but they have a similar enough style that it does look like a unified team, which is great. I mean, that's really what you want to see. Um, so, like this, this for example, we have Yori, uh, Zile, or Zeal, I'm terribly sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, Seronite, uh, Peovante, uh, and another one by Yori. Um, so yeah, it's, it's different artists, but they have 
a similar enough style or have worked in a similar enough style to look like one complete unit, which is good. I like that. It works very well. Um, yeah. Yeah, check them out. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting game. It plays uh, well so far. Uh, and I'm sure they're still working on a bit more development. And these cards do look nice, and they're they're pretty nice. I'm another on a side note. I'm just happy to not have, you know, a bunch of chase rare collectible foil things. Like it's a card game. Here's a deck of cards you play this game with. It's like a breath of fresh air to have that. I like that. It's not uh, it's not chasing the uh, the fantasy of it. It's creating something that's usable and playable. And that will come later, I'm sure. He'll have these, you know, chase rares to the moon type stuff. But for now, we've got this, which is an actually playable game. Thanks for watching. Bye.